Senior Chief Brian Collins. I was involved in a pretty traumatic motorcycle accident early in my career in uh, 1991. So I, as I was coming around a, a blind corner, doing a little faster than I should have been doing, um, as soon as I rounded the corner, the light was green for me to go through and a vehicle was in the turning lane in front of me and decided to turn without yielding. I landed right in front of the passenger front tire of the car as it was turning. And um, once it did that, it, it proceeded to run me over. And then I guess I was screaming so loud that the person that was driving, um, I guess thought that they were on top of me. So they peeled out and backed back over me. Um, once that happened, I rolled over into the fetal position and just so happened that there was a, a Virginia Beach police uh, car sitting there at that at the four-way stop that was there. And he drove up, tried to block traffic because it was a busy intersection. The, my, my injuries weren't life-threatening, but they were because I was ble bleeding pretty bad. Once that happened, they transported me to uh, Virginia Beach General. And I stayed at Virginia Beach General for probably about 12 and a half hours just laying on a gurney uh, strapped to, with my helmet on, strapped to a backboard. I was 18 at the time, they told me I'd never walk again. And if I did walk again, that I would uh, always walk with a cane or a limp. And I wasn't trying to hear that because the Navy was my, was my uh, goal to do is, is retire in the Navy. I didn't have my schools, I didn't have insurance, I didn't have a license, I didn't have anything. One, go through all the schools. The schools are fabulous. They've changed so much. You know, they're there for us for free. And with, with all the schooling, you learn more and more every time you go through it. I've done it nine times now, and I learn something new every time. I learned a basic technique that I really wasn't um, perfecting. Now I've perfected them. So if, if we do everything that the Navy has, has put out there, the message that I would send was, was hit it head on. Do the, do, the, do the schools, do everything you can to make yourself better, but just don't have that thrill on the street, take it to a track. If I had taken a course prior to this uh, incident, I truly think the incident probably wouldn't have happened. Um, my street awareness would have been a lot different than it, than it was then. Being as young as I was, you know, invincible, you know, speeding, going around a corner too fast. I think even if the car would have pulled out in front of me, if, I'd have, if I would have done everything the same way it, leading up to it, I truly think and feel that it, it wouldn't happen again.